Thank you. Thank you for going to jail for justice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The wrong people are being arrested. A society is broken when it arrests the right people and lets the wrong people continue work of murder and destruction inside an enormous office building as if it's routine and normal and acceptable. It isn't. David's friend who burned himself to death here is beloved by the people of Vietnam. The people who work inside this building, paid for by us with trillions of dollars, are despised and hated around the world as we would despise and hate people who bombed us and kicked in our doors and stationed troops in our lands. Stop it. It's counterproductive. Every time somebody retires from this building, they admit it. They step out and say we're creating more enemies than we're killing. It's not working. It's counterproductive. But I couldn't say it a week ago because I worked there. Why can't you say it when you work here? Why does it have to be people outside in a free speech cage to say it? Why can't we talk to you and you talk to us? That's what the First Amendment was for. Not for shouting in a cage. For petitioning the government for a redress of grievances. And my God, we got some grievances. The world's got grievances. We have seven countries being bombed from this building. These aren't desk jobs. These aren't peaceful jobs. These are people telling other people to kill unknown countless numbers of men, women, and children. And it's mostly children and the elderly. It's mostly civilians by your own definitions. These are slaughters. These are one-sided slaughters. It's not heroism. It's not noble. It's not cool because you wear camouflage in front of a marble building. It's stupid. It's dumb. It's backward. It's the only thing from St. Augustine and other ancient saints people were talking about earlier that we still hang on to. We tried to outgrow slavery. We tried to outgrow sexism. We tried to outgrow slaughtering Jews and heretics. Why do we hang on to the idea of war? It doesn't belong. It doesn't fit. The people don't want it. Don't believe me, have a vote. Call that democracy instead of calling this democracy. It ain't. You can't call it freedom when we have fewer freedoms after every goddamn war for freedom. We weren't in cages for our freedom before all the wars for freedom. We were outside having our freedom freely. Remember that? Barely. <laughs> We've had enough. You can get other jobs. Did you know that you get more jobs with the same dollars put into peaceful industries? Did you know that even tax cuts for working people is more jobs? We're not trying to cost anybody their job. We want to find you a job where you can sleep at night and we can be friends and talk to each other without fences and walls and handcuffs. We're not against the people who work here. We want you to stop working here. We want you to come outside and breathe some air while there's still air to breathe. Come on, join us.